and flows through as a rushing brook. So the mind of God pours forth into perfect expression through me. I let this rushing current find its way through me. I set aside distracting thoughts in a time of quiet reflection and become still. In the stillness, I acknowledge that the guidance I seek is also seeking me. The divine mind of God needs an outlets for expression. I am that outlet, and my role is not to force, but to allow divine life to express through me. I relax into the divine flow, and my mind is at peace. I am one with the all-knowing mind of God. And from Proverbs 4, 7, the beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom, and whatever else you get, get insight.
absolute, perfect, divine order in the world. We are perfect health. We are perfect wealth. And we are perfect love. And so it is. Are you with me tonight? Yes. What is love? What is love? There are many different expressions and manifestations. But if you really just want to get right down to it, look to the person next to you. And that is the physical manifestation of love. Right here, right now. That's it. That's what love looks like in physical form. That's how love shows up. And in unity, you know, we're all about community, you know. We're here to care for each other. You can walk through those doors and you can be down and you can just reach over and, and let somebody embrace you and hold you for a few moments. Yeah. And just say, hey, you know, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. You know, that's what it's about. We can be there for each other because, why? Because that's what love does. Love cannot help but be expressing as love. Right? Now every 
once in a while. Somebody needs to give us a talking to. You know. Right? Come on now. Oh, James, you've been preaching and gone to bed. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. Sometimes we, we need to be realigned back into our truth. Sometimes we forget who we are. Sometimes I forget. And I need somebody to remind me, hey, James, don't you know who you are? Yeah, I'm, I'm James King. No, that's just your persona. That's just the physical thing, right? That's not who I am. May I introduce myself? Hello, I'm God manifesting in the flesh. <laughs> and so are you, 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 right? <laughs> yeah, thank you. I knew we'd get there, you know, at some point. But love, man, you know, it just, what is love? It's to realize, it's, it's an ancient Greek word, agape. To realize the valuableness and the preciousness of a person. Do you know how much value you have? Jesus said, consider the lilies of the field. They don't work, they don't toil. They're so beautiful. And King Solomon in all of his glory and his temples that he built were amazing. Billions of dollars worth of gold. Today, it would be trillions of dollars. You know? And Jesus said, but aren't you of much more value than that? Isn't that amazing? So we need to get in touch with our inner value. You are precious. Tell the person next to you, say, hello, precious. Hello, precious. Hello, precious. See, love is a healing force. It's a healing quickening. It's a power. You know, it really is. And when somebody has loved you like you need to be loved, you know what? Somebody loves me like that, I'll follow them around like a puppy. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that what everybody's looking for? But we're just kind of waiting around for somebody to show up and give it to us. Oh, you know, I've been praying for love all these years and never showed up. Don't you know who you are? Right? If you want love, you want you give it. Give it. You share it. Right? Now, sometimes you don't always get love back from the person you think you're supposed to get love from. Right? Yeah. But that's okay. Because it does come back. Because in the scriptures it says, you cast your bread out on the water and it will return unto you after many days. Wave upon wave. Ooh. How you like that? That's the kind of love we're talking about. But it just builds and builds and builds. When I was driving down here today, you know, I'm just sitting there in, in the car. Because, you know, everywhere we go, we sit. Have you noticed that? And people are in such a hurry. They're in the cars. They're in a hurry to get to their home so they can sit there. Right? And then they go to work so they can sit. And some, then we sometimes get on a plane so we can what? Sit some more. Or a bus or whatever. Right? Everybody's in a hurry. And I just thought, you know, I'll just, just enjoy this and just, and just feel and, and just become aware of that healing, beautiful spirit presence. And man, I was just having a revival all the way down here. You know what I'm saying? It was just, woo! It was good! God. And see, we're, we're being baptized. And I believe in full immersion. Yes, I do. I believe you got to go all the way under. I'm not one of these little sprinkles. They'll just sprinkle a little bit on me. You, know? you got to be baptized in love the right way. The real way. <laughs> you got to go under. <laughs> and get wet. Really get it. Really get it. Because there's a revelation that comes. When you reach a certain 
awareness and consciousness is a revelation that comes to you, that quickens you, and all of a sudden, you wake up to love's presence. And then when you walk around outside and, and you look at the tree, all of a sudden, it's, it's alive. And you touch it and you feel the energy in it. You feel the love. And then you notice your feet on the, on the ground. There's, they call them negative ions, but it's really love. <laughs> uh, just coming up through the body. And then all of us right here, we're all surrounded by an atmosphere called oxygen. You know what that is? That's love too. It's love. It's embracing you right now. It's moving in and out of you. It's love. It's love. It's all love. The sunlight. You know what that is? That's love. It's just beaming out there. Just smiling. Beaming! Beaming light, radiating love. Sometimes you, you get out there too long and, and, and you get red with embarrassment because you got so much. <laughs> You're a little burned. <laughs> That's just the sun loving on you. Right. So I want to invite you to open up and to get baptized tonight in divine love. Baptize yourself. Can you do that? Take yourself all the way under. <laughs> Take it all. What you do?
that I'm always loved. I'm always beloved of God. I'm always an expression of God, even if I don't think so. Y'all love me through my unlovability. And what a beautiful gift that is to give to somebody. You know? One thing I like about this community so much is that we support each other. We uplift each other. We do things for each other. If there's somebody that's not here, somebody will call them and say, where are you? Because we miss you. You know, if you come in here, you get right in the middle of what's going on and you fall over, there's going to be a lot of people to catch you. But if you hang around on the edges and you fall out, well, probably no one's going to notice. I mean, that's the way it is. But if you come in and you get in the middle of this thing, surrounded by love, you're going to be held up. We have this beautiful um, piece of art that Sally brought us, and it shows um, these people, and they're holding each other's hands, and they're leaning backwards, um, and they hold a bubble together. Now, if, if, if one of them isn't there, then the bowl isn't held up. Do you know that you matter? Well, I want you to know <laughs> that you make a difference by your very presence here. That there is something within each and every one of us that when it adds up together, it makes this glorious whole. You know, I am more when I am with you than I am when I'm by myself. It's like God manifests exponentially in a group, if that makes sense. It's not like one plus one plus one. It's like we make something together that's more than just the sum of its parts. And that's the Holy Spirit expressing as us. And I'm so grateful to be a part of that. I'm so grateful for that amazing grace that all I have to do is open myself up to it. And it shows up in my life. I'm so grateful that I don't have to earn God's love. I'm so grateful that there's nothing that I can do to get God's love. That it's already in me all the time. And all I have to do is recognize. It. And I'm so grateful that when I forget about it, y'all remind me of it. So thank you for coming here and reminding us of what love looks like. Turn to your neighbor and say, you are what love looks like. You are what love looks like. You are what love looks like. You are what love So, if you ever forget that, if you ever forget that, all you got to do is find somebody in here and say, could you help me? Could you help remind me? Because I forgot it for a minute. I forgot that there's only one presence and I'm in. That there's only one love and I'm in. Could you, could you please remind me of it? You know? And if you can't find somebody in this community really all you got to do is just turn inside because we carry this thing around inside of us everywhere we go it doesn't ever go away we have this constant companion that is always with us and all we have to do is go inside so if you have something heavy on your heart all you have to do is cast your cares upon the one. Cast your trouble, cast your sorrow on the one love, the one power, the one presence, and it responds.
invite everybody now to take a nice deep breath in through the nostrils. And exhale. And again, a nice deep breath in through the nostrils.
voices in my head. I am not the pieces of the brokenness inside. I am light. I am light. I am light. I am
This is a free event, so we really need it when we say you're offering your blood for the church. You're saying thank you with your money, and we appreciate you. We give to places that we are spiritually fed. So if you feel fed by this experience tonight, I invite you to take your offering in your hand and let's bless it together. We have a that we say every Sunday together. And I'm going to say it and invite you to say it back. Find love. Find love. Through me. Through me. Blesses and multiply. Blesses and multiply. All that I am and have. All that I am and have. All that I give and receive. All that I give and receive. I am grateful. I am grateful. And so it is. So it is. God is my source, God is my power, God gives me everything I need, so I give thanks for all my blessings, God gives me God gives me everything. 
right? And the good news that new thought has for you is that you are beloved of God. You are the light of the world. Jesus told us. So we're here tonight to let our light shine. We don't light up the light and hide it in the corner. We put it up on the stand for the whole world to see. We are here to be the truth that we are. We are here to be the love that we are. We're here to be the light that we are. No longer will I shriek so that others may feel comfortable around me. I am here to be the full expression of the Christ that I am. Somebody say something to me.
of the Holy Spirit. Somebody say something to you. Okay, now what I want you to do is go home and tell somebody about this. Because we're going to come back tomorrow night and we're going to eat. Right, Becky? Yeah. We got some spaghetti like you ain't never tasted before at 5.30. And it's going to be $10 for a plate of spaghetti. And then we're going to come back. A big old plate. A big plate of spaghetti. Salad and garlic bread. And we might even have some more cookies and stuff. And then at 6.30, we're going to come back in here and we're going to do the revival again. And then on Sunday morning at 9.15 and 11 o'clock, we're having homecoming service. Welcome home to unity. Welcome home to unity. Tell somebody. Tell your neighbor. Welcome home. Tell somebody. Welcome home. Welcome home. Come on, Georgia.
Señor.